Hamburgers. 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 <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get hit once in that fucking grocery store. Or yeah, that little bit more. Gas pump, there we go. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Oh, Jill's daughter. Look around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Yeah, well... Yeah, for real. No. Him and some other chick are gonna bone. That's not fair. Why can't Claire do anything? Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh, God, this is so unreal. Hey, remember when you yelled at the that station? Not much fun. Know something. My phone's on silent. Now. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Okay. Oh, good call. Looks like we're walking from here. 
Uh, or we can go somewhere else, get the puck. Dear Leon Redfield, how about we don't yeah, get out of the car? <laughs> So in the original game, you're, uh, fuck me, I ran the wrong way. Um, in the original game, you are driving with Leon in the car, and because of some limitations and shit like that, like, I guess they didn't create enough models for the end game, um, a zombie pops out from the back of the back seat of the cop car, uh, but it's the same model as Leon, so it's just like, <laughs> Evan, my twin brother! What happened to you? <laughs> Almost there. The police station run is also about twice as long as this. As you see, it just took me no. I still don't have any bullets. Yeah, you still don't have any bullets. Turn my flashlight. Uh, Alright, let's go back to the station. He was missing a little half, but that makes you feel Alright, so we need to see if they did the thing. I went through here without picking anything up or looking around for a very special reason. And it looks like they blocked off the uh, undertow. Anyways, right here in this little area, you should be able to find a zombie. And it's the zombie from Resident Evil 3. Of a helicopter pilot named Brad. That was good if you could feed him without picking anything up from the original game. Oh, sorry. Oh, was, yeah, that's not. That's not footprints. Anybody here? Hey. Oh, yeah. We're going the original. Okay. <sighs> that sound. This is the original police track, and I love it. Two increments. Probably don't need that key anymore. No, I would get rid of that key. What? No. He said what? No, and then he did. Well, no, no, I said what because I thought it, it was swapping, so I thought it would put the key where I found the pink ribbon. Come on, Chris. Where are you? He gone. They're inside too. Another funny thing, 
the entire police department that did in, the, in this game or in the uh, game. Um, I'm gonna save after that. So the original police department was not a police department; it was a museum that was refashioned into a police department. Oh, that's sweet. It looks like a museum refashioning the It does, doesn't it? I'm taking that. Beautiful. They did not model a bathroom in the place at all. <laughs> like, people were like... You can literally rip that with your hand. Yeah, well, that's a very Resident Evil thing to do. Resident, Resident Evil 7 does the same level. Yeah. Door lock? Spade. In the, uh, so usually you would have one metal instead of three. Oh, that's interesting. But, and the, the, the and she used to carry a vase, but when you put the metal, the unicorn metal in the plate, it would spit out the diamond key. Which was used to unlock like two doors and you never need them again. Also, they changed this so fucking much. I don't even know what this puzzle is. Let's try to brute force it. Let's see if any of these. Spade key. That outfit looks horribly uncomfortable. Tracksuits are horrible. Oh. Yay. I reload a lot faster now, thankfully. Yeah, you do. Um, so I have the. Samurai Edge, which is just a Beretta 92 FS that has been customized with uh, a hollow hammer, or a skeleton hammer, and some other things. But essentially, it just is nothing new. Um, but I have the model for Albert Wesker, which is the guy who is the antagonist in the first game. Oh, okay. So, I have no idea where I'm going, but this should be a secretary's report talking about how cheap I am. 